There we go. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are about to go do some pond hopping with the Dillon Hunter, man. It's gonna be a blast. And guess what, we're taking out the top waters, but today it's gonna be a bit of a Google Maps challenge for us. We are actually, we're jumping on the good old iPhones and we're gonna try a new spot tonight. A couple places we found just looking at satellite views. See what we can't uh, get into this evening. We'll catch you guys out on the water. All right, y'all, we are here at the ponds and the Dillon Hunter are pulling up. We're hitting some new spots that we have never fished before. We hopped on Google Maps. We don't know if these ponds have been here for a long time and have big fish or if they're like, part of a new development. These houses look like they've been here for a while. So I can't say this development's gotta be too new and these ponds are like so fresh that they wouldn't have any fish. We about to find out, man. We're all in this thing together. We're trying new things out here. Let's get some lines on the water. Devin is go pro Do they have fish? Up. Question is, do they? Do they got fish? We don't know. <laughs> on first approach, y'all, the water clarity looks pretty good, which should be great because I've got a bluegill patterned bait here, which I'm sure there's plenty of in this spot. I'm just gonna cruise this thing along the side here and see what's going on. We're still a little ways from sunset, but I might find an aggressive little fish here. She's thinking we shouldn't give this place too much time before we try and move, because I might run over to that one on the other side and see if it's any different. Yeah, it did look good. A little smaller, easier to cover. You wanna try that one instead? I'm still throwing the buzz bait, hoping for an aggressive little bite. Around that sunset in the summertime, man, cannot go wrong with the buzz bait. Uh, you could easily put a trailer hook on here or even just a trailer plastic. I'm just rocking an OG style straight out of the box. And look at the, how they, they've got this place stood up and done for the fourth. Dude. Looking good. Something just spooked off. It is very shallow. Oh, that might have been a turtle too, though. I was going to say, dude, here's what looks like beds right here. Adele said he just got a bite. Oh, there we go. Smooth move. That's how you do it, folks. Subscribe for more tangle sessions. I thought we fished that one with you. Okay, we had to make a quick move, man. The last spot was not producing. And this one looks like so stained. So I'm thinking something like a, what I would throw here to start things off is maybe a spinner bait, just cause all the flash. The downside of that is you're not getting as much vibration as maybe something like a chatter bait. A chatter bait might be one of the better things to throw here. A black and blue jig, think black and blue colors, darker stained water. That is why I'm rocking the, uh, the black buzz bait here. And we're gonna see if we can't get hit. Sun is going down, should be top water time of day. Casting parallel to these banks is probably the best idea to be fair. Hey, hey, hey! Get away! <laughs> yeah, Big Bird was going after my buzz mate. Gotcha, fish on. Oh, on the buzz bait. Right as soon as it hit the water. Come here, bub. Come here. Come here. Come here. Boom. <laughs> He's not that tall. Huh? He's a bass. Yep. He's a little big, huh? It's kind of skinny. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're kind of slimy, huh? You want to let it go? Put him in the water? Here, I'll show you what to do. <laughs> so you'll hold him. You're going to hold him by his mouth. Just like I am. Oh, yeah. Down there. Yep. Oh. Here, let's move that for you. There you go. <laughs> now you'll just toss him in the water. <laughs> Woohoo! Good job, bud. <laughs> Oh, oh no, missed him. She got him. What'd you got? You got a good one? I just missed a hit too. They're hitting top water. Oh, got him, doubled up. Oh no, dang it. They're smashing the buzz bait, dude. It's time, it's time. I just missed two hits in a row. There was my second fish that I wasn't recording for. Forgot to start it. They're hitting the buzz bait. Cool, top water bite. It's all. There he goes. Oh, dude, it's like little fish hitting this. I think it's like bluegill going for it or something. I just missed three hits now. They're not blowing up on it. They just like take it under real quick. That's funny. We're getting some unusual buzz bait hits tonight. Something is like grabbing it, trying to take it underwater, but doesn't have a big enough mouth to get hooked. Definitely an ambitious bluegill. All right, let's walk the bank. Oh, whoa, those are big eggs. Look at those things, guys. Those are big eggs. 
That's not a chicken, huh? Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was a bass or a bluegill, but another fish just took it under. This is getting ridiculous. How are these fish just not grabbing this thing? There we go, we got a little something, something. Finally a hit on the buzz bait. Top water time, full effect. We'll see you buddy. I gotta chunk you out here so you don't go in the shallows. Oh, actually this is a deep, deep little pocket right here. Yep, see you bud. Hey. Hey, will you, can you unlock the truck from where you are? Yeah, let me see if it will. I just got my first one on the buzz bait over here. Oh really? Love you, bye. All right, let's get some more. Let's get down here on the bass level. This pond has got to be so far down. Like, it just looks like this thing was once very full based on, like this was definitely underwater recently. Look, you can see the line. Yeah, this thing is like way low. There we go. There we go, there's number two. All right. Second one on the buzz bait. They are all little tykes out here and skinny. But to get on a topwater bite is some of the most fun you will have in bass fishing. Summertime is an excellent time to get after these things. Morning and night, right at sunrise, right at sunsets, that's when you want to be throwing these buzz baits. Midday, if you can get away with it in certain areas where it's just uh, a ton of grass and a little bit of a flat. And when I say a ton of grass, I don't mean like the stuff on the surface. I mean like you see a lot of grass subsurface. You can usually get them to come out. They'll be lurking in the shadows and they will smack at midday just as well. All right, little bud, get on out of here. See ya. Oh, he's trying to find his way. He's trying to find his way. There he goes. Back to the depths. Excuse me, gentlemen. Guys, how y'all doing? Good, man. Awesome, thank you. Good luck out here. Mm -hmm. Hunter on the first one. Oh, so cool. Awesome, I've been wanting to catch something on this forever. <laughs> That's crazy. Perfect colors. Oh, hey. Oh! Just had, just had a blow up. Got him. Got him. <laughs> he came back for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Biggest one. Dang. Y'all, biggest, biggest one of the night was just hiding under the timber. That's funny, because when you think about a, a pond this size, when you see a, a decent sized pond, he's about to go crazy and slap, you're thinking the small narrow passageway might not have the bigger fish. Well, we'd be wrong, wouldn't we? Check him out. I'd say that's Instagram photo worthy. Nice little picture right there. All right, ladies and gents, you see how fun the top water bike can be. You gotta get yourself a couple Hummers. If you don't have them already, you can pick them up and get you a little backflip to go. At Carl's Bait and Tackle, save 30% on all your baits and tackle. I will leave the link down in the description for y'all. I'm gonna go see if they caught any more. You got a nice one? No way. Dang, that's a big old boy. Adele just caught a drum, like a big old one. Wow. There it is. <laughs> that's a big little thing. You better let him back in the water. <laughs> Yeah, he's been he's been through a little bit, huh? There he goes. <laughs> he floated up on his side, and we we're like, uh oh. And then he just like took off. Have a good night, y'all. See ya. Yo, look at that sunset. All right, a few bites for us, man. Actually, three fish for me plus a ton of bites, and then Devin got a few herself. It's a good old evening. We'll see you guys back at the house for a quick recap. All right, y'all. We are back, cleaned up, and making some dinner. What a night! I'm telling you what to get every hit on a topwater bait. Doesn't happen too often in the vlogs, so it's always a fun time when we can show you guys some top water catches. Don't forget about the big giveaway we have going on on our Instagram page. If you haven't signed up, rules are super simple. Win a Shimano reel and a rod of your choice. Go ahead and get entered. Some Guggen baits too, why not? Every one of us got fish, man. All of us got on some fish. Adele, Hunter, myself, Devin, and we plan on getting out with them again soon, possibly on the hot tamale, so be on the lookout. That is the oven 
I guess food is ready. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <gasps>